TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday. We kick off June trading and markets volatile to kick things off. We get the S&P is negative four points right now. The futures trading at 41.98. We started the trading day up at around 42.30. So S&P has given up a quick 30 points to start off the trading day. NASDAQ 100 accelerating lower out of the gate as well. We opened at around 13,773, the high print. We're currently sitting 13,000. 658. You get the Dow hanging on to gains. We're up 38 points right now, but we had been as high as 13,000. 827. You're talking about almost 300 points above where we're trading at right now, 34,554. You have the Dow within about 175 points of all-time highs on the futures. You have the S&P within about eight points of all-time highs on the futures. The Russell, strongest of the main major indices, holding on to gains up about eight-tenths percent at 2287. Bitcoin, 36,300 right now. Crude, how about crude? $68.87, highest prices we've seen in crude since 2018. We back off from those prices a bit. We're still trading up $1.30 on the session, almost 2% higher at 67.63. Gold contract gives back its gains. We're as high as 1919. You trade down to 1895 since about the last three hours. Gold up to 1906, flat on the session right now. And notes and bonds will jump over. We're lower price, but not as low as we had been. You're looking at the 10-year negative vortex right now. 131.25. We'll jump over to the volatility index. A little bit of elevated prices as this market's traded lower. To start off the trading month, we get the VIX trading at 1826. In terms of what else we have happening in the market, so Friday, we're coming into non-farm payrolls on Friday for the month of May. Expectations will be high there after we missed basically missed entirely for the month of April non-farm payrolls. I think that was like 266,000 jobs was all that we added in the month of April. Some people were talking about a million jobs potentially. So a lot of expectations come Friday. We'll see how they go. AMC shares. So AMC, quite the saga, folks, when you check this one out. Uh, and to pull up in the, the full deal of what's going on. So there's news out this weekend was that Mudrick had basically bought a stake in AMC for about $230 million. Well, guess what? They saw, sold it all as of Tuesday, the same day the chain disclosed that investment. Uh, they don't hold any more shares. They sold it at a profit. They bought it at an elevated level to Friday's close. They have it moved out by Tuesdays. AMC is up 21% today. Can't blame them. Quite the volatile market. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White, he's back with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, live at 3 with